Hello from the music interview corner from Rockfest with Battle Beast. I thought I will only get Nora, but I got the whole band for you guys. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Nora Lohim and here is rest of the band. I'm yours. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, rest of the band. Hello, Joana from the rest of the band. <laughs> Hello, I'm Nora from the rest of the band. <laughs> and I'm Jana from Battle Beast. <laughs> We are from Battle Beast, by the way. Yeah, by the way. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I said that, but it's, it's important. We can't say that often enough. And we should also say the title of your new album, which is Circus of Doom. It came out last year. Uh, what can you tell us about the recording process? Janne, tell, tell a little bit about it. Yes. Oh, my God, I can't, rem I can't remember anything about the recording process. <laughs> of course I can, but, yeah. It was it was very nice process, I think. It was yeah. like a lot of, a lot of good... Memories, yeah, yeah. And stuff and yeah. I, I wasn't the producer or anything, but for me, it felt like the most relaxed we've had on studio. I mean, most relaxed does not mean relaxed, but like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I think it felt like the workflow was kind of a. I think it was good atmosphere and everything. Yeah, yeah. Shit, lot of hours in the studio, but yeah. it's always. <laughs> no. Yes, every 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 minute at least. <laughs> Especially me, I'm I'm like I'm really bad with my you know how I say that word many times during the recording. Every time I do a mistake, and there was a lot of mistakes. So I can, you you don't believe how many vittus I have from Nora <laughs> on my hard drive. Yeah. There's like hundreds of thousands of yeah. vittus. We should, we should yeah. make a bonus track. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that yes. would be a perfect we bonus track. Get that yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> yes, I would love to listen to the vittus yeah. track. Yeah, yeah, but uh, uh, but let's listen to the other album as well. <laughs> yes, yes. Do you want to add anything? I have to say I I don't except Bitto. <laughs> yeah, it was a semi semi relaxed process with lots of Vittos. You know what? You should release the Vito track, and they can be your background singers with Vito Vito. You do the main leads, lead Vitos, and they do the background Vitos. <laughs> yes. Do you have a favorite song on the album? Yes, I have, but it's it's very hard question because I it depends on the mood and the day. You know, some days it is Circus of Doom, some days it is Wings of Light. You know, it's like it depends on the mood I have, and you know, how about you, Ero? Not really. I mean, it's not like I ever listen to our own music at home, <laughs> but it's always like. My favorite track on every album is the one that gets the audience going. Like, you know, I mean, if you play those songs on the rehearsal room like 300 times, it doesn't feel like anything. But when you go on stage and you see how the people re react to it, then, you know, that's that's why I'm into this business. And, you know, whatever gets the crowd going is my favorite song to you. I bet you know what? I bet, yeah. Yes, I bet the V2 track would get the crowd going really well. Yeah, but I didn't want to interrupt you. Oh, no, 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 I, I was only going to say Vittu. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. This is going to be my favorite interview ever, because Vittu is my favorite word. It's the first Finnish word I learned. Yes, it opens my heart. <laughs> yes, Mika Vittu. Yeah, and um, you were part of a special concert in March, a concert that was broadcast on Ule to support Ukraine. Do you want to tell us more about that? Well, it was... I was asked to do it like in a short uh, notice and of course I was in because I thought it was uh, for a very important cause and and I hope that it <laughs> it helped people in Ukraine so so it was and and of course it's an honor to be asked to be you know part of that kind of concert so oh yeah and actually The next question is mostly for Nora, but maybe, uh, I mean, you all have nice stage outfits, but yours are especially nice, so who designs your stage outfits? Well, first of all, I have I have some idea, and then I do with Katarina Tuttavainen from Ilmatar Couture. She is designing them with me, and, and she also uh, is the dressmaker. So And also, uh, on this album, she made the outfits for the guys as well. She made all the outfits. Yes. So. So, and it's been a very special and great uh, relationship with her because it's like since 2017 we started to do this collaboration and and it actually started 
the way that uh, she asked in Facebook if she could make um, a stage outfit for me. And there we started and it's been now like how many years? Six years? Yeah, six years and we still keep on doing this and it's, it's great. Oh, that's great. And uh, did you guys like the rest of the band? Did you also like your stage outfits? Absolutely. Yeah, also we even had had something like we were part of the process of uh, like designing our own clothes and definitely it worked out really well. Like she she's like really enthusiastic about her work and that's definitely good for us because we are not really like uh, clothing designers. So it's great to see that someone who really cares about that stuff is like taking care of that. Right. Do you want to add anything? We want more stays close for the guys, <laughs> but damn, it's expensive. So that's the one reason we have to like focus on someone. And of course, it's obviously Nora. But maybe when the band go grows bigger, then we can start adding some extra gear for the guys too. So. Yeah. Uh, Vittu. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Because you mentioned social media, that the designer contacted you through Facebook. I heard or read somewhere that one reason why you became the singer of Battle Beast was that Anton saw something from you off YouTube and he really liked it. Is that true? Yeah, originally I was found in YouTube singing Janis Joplin, Peace of My Heart, at uh, one of my gigs. Uh, it was acoustic gig. And yeah, then... Then uh, I was asked to join the band <laughs> and in a week I was in the studio with the guys already and yeah, it all happened very quickly and... Yeah, we went to see, uh, we went to see a show by Nora in Tampere where she yeah. did like a... I think you did just a bunch of rock covers yeah, and yeah, it was like really like impressive and we hung out a bit and chatted a bit and you know, see how the atmosphere felt and yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was it was super fast. Was, like yeah. one call, yeah. one show yeah, on the road for, yeah, actually, for a month, yeah. you know. Like. Yeah, because we had actually already booked a tour yes. supporting Sonata Arctica and we didn't have a singer. Yes. So that was pretty much a tight spot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But she really They didn't have any option. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> and here I am yeah. uh, after yeah. almost uh, yeah. 11 years yeah. after that. <laughs> Here I am still, and they can't get rid of me, even though they, they want it. Yeah, they don't. They don't have any other options. Yeah, it's, we still don't have any other options. So. <laughs> But do you think that YouTube plays a bigger role now for artists these days? I think I think so very much because, you know, th there are a lot of people who uh, who has has been found through that. Yeah. So. And, there, and there's also like a, a ton of people who are like incredible you know virtuoso players of guitar or whatever like those kind of you know bedroom guitarists who are incredibly talented who just make a they make a nice buck you know without ever leaving their home and it's really cool but it's also kind of boring like you know they never go out there and never tour or you know never do, do stuff like that but i mean <laughs> i can't really criticize them it's their business but it's I mean, it's nice in some way that, you know, people from all over the world can show everybody else what they got. But on the other hand, it's getting so private, you know, everybody just practicing and becoming, you know, perfect musicians by themselves and not really playing together. Just, you know, perfecting them, perfecting their one instrument talent. Yeah. Oh, you, you want to add something? Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> such a valuable comment. Uh, that is another question for you, Nora, but the rest of the band is also allowed to contribute. Uh, you did a video series on YouTube, you were part of it, uh, it's called Seagull's Nest by Steven oh, Seagull. Yeah, one, one episode. Yeah, how, how was that for you? That was so much fun. I had a one day uh, living as a Rambo. You know, because, <laughs> yes, you know, because uh, the, the theme was uh, that uh, on that day when we were shooting the whole episode was that I was preparing myself to to the to the song we were about to do. And it was a cover song of Eden, Battle Beast Eden song uh, in a... Uh, Have you seen it? I think I have seen it. Yeah. And the prepare, uh, preparation was that uh, I was uh, like, you know, the... Uh, no, it was... Because I was... Uh, 
ei Rambo, vaan siis tää, missä se on. Uh, Rocky. Rocky! As, sorry, sorry, I, I, I missed... Yeah, voi vittu! Uh, so I meant, I meant Rocky, because it, there is like... Dun, 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 dun. I, had, I had to run in the snow, and, and you know, I was having like a boxing uh, match with one of the... The, the, dr- the drummer of the band. Oh, Steven Singer. Yeah, they're great guys, and we had so much fun doing all that funny stuff, and 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 then we did the uh, Steven Seagal's cover version of the Eden song, and it it actually came a big. It it was. I really like that uh, that version. So I don't know about you guys, but no, I mean everybody thinks it's better than the original. Really? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You shouldn't say like that. But but I I like that uh, we could actually make something you know uh, something different different version. So and and also collaborate with with you know other bands and and colleagues. Oh yeah, now a question for the rest of the band. I see you have a cat on your shirt. And I love cats, and there are so many metalheads who love cats. Can you tell us something about your shirt? <laughs> I bought this... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I, 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 yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I bought this uh, shirt two weeks ago in Barcelona, and Yusa bought a similar shirt. And after... Af- yeah, yeah. Yusa no longer has it because Jona lost it in a cab. <laughs> it was him. It was him. It was him. No. Yeah. 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 No. No. Cats are great. I'm super super allergic, though. So I'm more most of a dog person, but I still like cats and all sorts of animals. There's also this super cool Japanese koi, as in that koi is Japanese for fucking huge fish that leaps. Okay, let's yeah. Yeah. So. What was the question? Yeah. <laughs> Moving on, Vito. Oh, yeah, Vito. Thank you. What is the craziest thing you guys ever did on tour that you can tell here without being arrested and stuff? Ah, well then I can tell you. <laughs> Vito. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I I have I have been uh I have done a lot of th- <laughs> yeah, Let's not mention them here. Yeah. Yes, yeah. but uh some easy stuff. Something that you shouldn't do next to a police car. Oh. <laughs> Yes. yes. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. What about you, Yus? Yeah, I didn't do the same thing, but also some stuff which you shouldn't do next to a police car. <laughs> mm, I don't uh, crazy stuff, but the, I once sh- shit my pants during a show. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. More this stuff. More, more. Yeah. Error, error. <laughs> no. Okay. Do you do you want to contribute something? I can only say vittu. Okay. Then vittu, thank you so much for this wonderful interview. Thank you. It was Very fun. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, vittu means fuck. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, and goodbye from the music interview corner. <laughs> Bye. <you>. Bye. <laughs>